In this video, we will look at how we can solve a variation problem in its entirety. As we solve a variation problem, we must first find a formula for the relationship using the type of variation. Once we have a formula, we must find the constant of variation using known values from the problem. Once we have the constant, we are then able to answer the question using that constant of variation. This problem describes the price of an item which varies directly with the sales tax. If a $25 item has a sales tax of $2, we want to know what will the tax be on the $40 item. In order to answer this question, we must first set up a formula for the relationship using the type of variation. This problem tells us that it varies directly. Directly means we're going to divide the two values, the price of the item and the sales tax. Let's use P for the price and T for the tax. Directly means we take price and divide by the tax, and that will always equal the same value, our constant of variation. Now we're ready for step two, to find that constant using the given information. This given information should be the numbers that go together. If a $25 item has a tax of $2, those numbers describe the same situation. The price is $25. Divided by the tax is $2. When we divide, we get 12.5 for our constant of variation. Once we know the constant, we're ready to answer the question about the $40 item. To do this, we can go back to the equation we started with. Price over tax equals our constant. The $40 given to us, we know is the total price of the item. So we'll replace the P with 40 over the tax, which is what we're looking for, equals our constant of variation, or 12.5. We now have an equation we can solve to find the tax. We know to clear the denominator with the least common denominator of t by multiplying both sides by t. This gives us 40 equals 12.5t. Finally, get the t alone by dividing both sides by 12.5, and we find out the tax on this $40 item is 3.2, or $3.20. In order to solve this variation problem, we first identify the type of variation to get our equation, then use our given information to find the constant, and then we use that constant to answer the question.